what you're looking at here is a chunk of apple wood that got attacked by the funguses out here on the coast and what I'm going to do with it, trying to get a wider view of this deal, might be better. What I'm going to do with this is take, uh, you can see the leaves I've got going here. It's going to be a blackberry uh, bush uh, carved onto this thing with blackberries. It's going to be a blackberry here. There'll be a blossom here. There'll be a leaf here. Here's another leaf. And this is going to be a beautiful piece of wood. It's been spalted. The burl is uh, crazy on this thing. And this is what happens to a piece of wood when it gets attacked by the funguses out here. It just uh, really starts tearing it down as far as being a living species and changes it in this crazy thing. And so this is all, I'll show you how this goes. I'm still planning it out right now. How I want everything to be on here. This is a this is a uh, an order, a commissioned piece, and she wants two uh, mice here. I'm not even sure what kind of mice she wants yet. She's got pictures, and so this is going to be a guided piece by the person that's buying it, as well as my own interpretation of what this piece of wood will allow me to do. And so, you get to watch this. Uh, uh, transformation of this thing and so it's gonna be quite astonishing to watch this thing uh, do what I'm going to do to it now you can see I've got uh, leaves and vines and stuff happen this is gonna be blackberries right here and uh, blackberry blossoms a couple of little tiny leaves right here there's three leaves here one coming off here and the vine starts off right here, breaks off, breaks off this way, breaks up here, breaks that way, goes up. This is going to be a blossom and some pretty blossoms right here. And you got another leaf and it comes up here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do up here yet, so we stopped. You can see what's going on around this thing. It splits again and it splits again. You see a mouse right here. Okay. Uh, he's got his tail coming out. And a foot here and a foot here. And he's reaching up for this blackberry. Okay. Now we'll turn it around here. Another leaf. Fly comes up. And we're back where we were. There's a mouse right in here too. And he is going for this blackberry that's going to be over here. And I'm going to try and do a tail wrapped around this blackberry right here. So we'll see how that works out. And I'll come back to this thing periodically and show you the advancements that are being made. And then when I get into the mice, I'll uh, do some, I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to carve up from underneath of the vine and make that rind, vine, excuse me, make that vine round. Now I add the blackberry, uh, the thorns on the blackberry onto the piece. Otherwise you'd have to be, it's just, that would get really complicated to try and do them on here. So I take them from the real blackberry, I grind the back side of it, and I, I glue them in place wherever uh, they're needed up and down the piece. And so that's how I do the thorns. I nub them off so they're not uh, extremely sharp, but they're real. And so it gives it a little bit different uh, sense of reality. I'm going to give you a look at this thing. It's starting to come along. You see the underneath. It's all taken away. See that? Underneath all these spots. Anyway, I'll give you a turnaround here. I'm going to go so far and then I'm going to have to go back the other way. The mouse up here, haven't got into that yet. The leaves are coming better. This is a process of reduction and sanding as you go. And this is just one big nightmare when you start out on these pieces. Because they're just never ending. It seemed to be anyway. Eventually you get done with them, but oh, this is a this is a quite a chunk of wood. 
this is, I'm going to leave all this, like I said, that, and I'm going to leave this spot down here because it's so natural. If you carve into it, the wood just disappears and they end up with nothing. And so this is all hollowed out in here. So you can't really carve into it because then you just lose all the aesthetics of the piece. And so, all right, I'm going to show you how to make uh, this. I've got this all undercut and I've got it rounded pretty good. But what you do now to make it round and to sand it off, you take your emery paper. That's what this is, emery paper. Hard to find nowadays, but you can probably get it online. And you take, and you just take your sandpaper, emery paper, and run it back behind, and run it in different directions. Don't stop in one spot, maybe you'll make a channel. Go off at different angles, keep it moving. Wrap that thing right around there, and that'll start making your vine round, your stick, whatever you're trying to do. This is how I, uh, how I do it. Yep. Around this thing. And you can go around two times to a full 360. And then, but you got to keep that moving or you'll leave a channel. See how that moved back and forth on that thing? You got to keep that moving. Now you got this twist. What you do is you go opposite. See that? Run it underneath this way. And now you're, you're completely opposite of what you were. And so now you've got a different uh, angle that you're that you're working, and that'll make that that'll make that round and nice and smooth. Then you take your to sand underneath these areas. You take a contraption like this, this is Velcro. Yeah, it's Velcro. It's a foam. Hard to find these things. They're out there. Yeah, it reaches right underneath of that. It'll reach 50% uh, of the way or real close. Come from the other way. And you can catch the, a lot of the rest of it. You're still going to have to get in there and, and sand with uh, other tools, but you can get a great deal of it. Okay, see how I do that. All right, we're going to give you another spin around here and show you some of my advancements, how far we've taken this. So we're going to do a spin here. You can see I've got this going to be a curl or the end of a vine. I've got the mouse starting to happen right here now. Blackberry, this is going to be a blossom, like this one down here. And this is a blackberry, leaves, leaves, leaves. And this can be another leaf. This will be another mouse here, reaching up for this blackberry up here. You see? This will be his tail coming around here from in behind of the vine. Okay. That's how far we've come. Got it smoothed out pretty good. Uh, got some more work to do underneath the vines here and there. Difficult to do. Need a tool like this that sands underneath of that. Like this. Gets there. Put that in a drill. And you can work that. Like this. Okay. okay. Get in there. And that flare gets underneath. Yeah. That gets underneath that vine, so you can do that. Now you're going to have to sand this uh, off underneath here with a different tool. Uh, you can see the mouse here. Grabbing onto this blackberry.
another mouse starting to come out. We've got the tail going on here. You can see the tail reaching up for this blackberry leaves. Got it smoothed out pretty good. Got a lot of work left to go though. I'll give you a little bit. bit more so you see a little bit better. Okay. okay. Mouse is coming into a good, got a blossom going here and some pre-blossoms. Uh, this uh, turned out pretty good down here. So, blackberries and stuff down here. Uh, got the whole blackberry to go yet. There's a pre-blossom here. Here's a blossom, a couple of small leaves. Here's some leaves. So you can see how it's all happening. Okay, I'm going to give you a shot of this thing. I've done a lot of work on it since I showed it to you last. So you can see all of this. See the mouse happening here. And uh, most of the work around the berries and the flowers have all been, have all been done. I'm going to keep turning this thing here. Yep. I'll give you a shot at the top of the two. I'm showing you the bottom kind of right now. How I did all this stuff. The big glob. That's the leaves and stuff. Okay, we're gonna turn this thing over a little bit. And uh, readjust the, the uh, camera angle. Get a better shot of the top of this thing. The other mouse it's this guy here changed his body shape a bit changed his feet around his tail okay and here we go all the stuff now is, is the sanding everything out uh making these a little bit more true these stems and stuff on the top this was very hard by the way holy mackerel that was a lot of stuff but you can see uh berries full berries and pre-berries and blossoms that are opening, full open blossoms and berries in uh, the three different stages uh, as it goes around the piece. And we'll go over to the other mouse here now. Blow the dust away a little bit. There we go. My new fan is maybe sucks this dust right in now. The other one died on me. You can see how this is trying to get a better shot of these mice and how they've uh, turned out. Right, move this light around. There we go. Right on top of this thing. Yeah, that's better. No. There. Come on now. Stay in, stay in the spot. There we are. Mm hmm. Yeah, now you got the berry wrapped around his tail. Uh, or the tail's wrapped around the berry. And it, it's not on a stem. It's actually being held by the little mouse. He's getting ready to chomp down on this one here. And uh, you see the blossom and the pre-blossoms. Pre-blossoms uh, were, because uh, it was so long, the pre-blossoms are keeping, giving it a lot of strength. So it doesn't just break right off. Okay. We'll zoom in on this other mouse here now. It's a pretty good shot. See how the tail comes around here. Now, now he's attached to quite a bit of his body back in here is attached. <coughs> you can see back in there. And so he's uh, pretty solid. We got quite a bit of work on the mice left to go. The mice have a, there's a lot of work there yet. All the hair and all the sanding around in here. All that's got to happen before I do the hair. Because the hair is the last thing that's going to happen on this deal. All right. I'm going to call this section sanding. 
I made this apparatus myself. Uh, you probably can't even find a sander like this anymore. They've got micro sanders, but this old Dremel that uh, they came out with, this thing is a cool tool. Uh, if you ever find one of these, grab it. Comes with all kinds of different attachments, like this. These were diamonds, and I shaped them into uh, different shapes. Uh, and I made this tool out of a measuring stick, a metal measuring stick, and I slapped some uh, Velcro on it. And so it, uh, it's just Velcro on there. And so you can change your grips really easy, and this thing gets way up underneath the stuff. Okay, you get the idea. Alright, uh, started the hair process. You can see what's happening here. And so I'm going to show you how I do this with this little tool right here. That little end. Right there. That's about, uh, oh, one third the size of a head of a pin. Maybe half the size, probably. Uh, it's real it's really tiny and I made that myself done. I'll give you a spin on this thing. Get a close up of this mouse. He's got one he's trapped up in his tail there. Go to the other mouse. This was a tough one. Remember, all one piece of wood. Porcupine hair for the whiskers. This was a month long piece right here. There it is, finished. <laughs> 